awkward tip, but it's won by Northwestern, and we are underway. DJ Karstensen, Larry Serrato, and Don Daly are our officials today. Good to be with you on the day after Christmas. A great Big Ten showdown between two teams with a lot of momentum coming in. Both Ohio State and Northwestern have won their last two games. It's Pete Nance inside over Kyle Young, in and out, and Ohio State pushes the tempo for the first time in this game. Young and Nance on the other end now, and the right-handed hook shot works for Kyle Young. And I think the battle of the paint is going to be very important today. You look at the first two possessions, both were post-touches. Northwestern, even though their personnel is very similar to the team they had last year under Chris K. Walker of Ohio State. And Adi heard from William and Mary. He was a CAA All-Rookie Team honoree, 0 for 2 at the free throw line. But after redshirting last year, he has been quite an asset for Northwestern's offense especially. Right back to the paint. This time it's Liddell who draws the double team over Nance, and he gets the jumper. Good start for Ohio State. If you saw the early double team come, I expect them to double every time Liddell touches it at the post. Chris Holtman told us this morning that this is going to be the toughest test for Ohio State defensively this season. Northwestern is for real. Boo Booey spins inside the free throw line, in and out again. Northwestern has missed its first couple of field goals, and they're open two at the line as well. And then off ball, five straight NCAA tournament appearances. And there is a bucket for Justice Suing, Brian, a guy who's not had his off. new to fight, and teams that fight to get wins have the capability of being very, very good. And Coach Holtman loved that about this team. And one thing you told me, Brian, is that even when teams fall behind, if they're able to keep their heads and spirits in the fight, Adige misses the triple. Uh, that's a sign that a team has got a lot of confidence in what they're doing and how they're playing. And I think that's what Ohio State showed in that win against Rutgers. They continued to chip away. And obviously it helped having Washington hit a couple of threes to get them back in striking distance. But after that, they got stops and they got good shots and they continued to attack the paint. Jumper good for C.J. Walker. And it's been a hot start shooting for Ohio State. They've made their first four field goals. And if you're Northwestern here, you want to try to get some touch the paint, find ways to get open here. Adij has now missed back-to-back -back threes from that same spot. And an 8-0 run already for Ohio State to start this game. A chance to go up double figures as Suing blew a tire. And Walker open for three. Adij with the rebound for Northwestern. Here's Boo Booey. Western still looking for its first point. Chris, it, it, and I emphasize it. Get to the paint. Get some easy looks. Once you get some easy looks, it creates a bigger basket for you. You're going to score more. Liddell inside. <laughs> Bowie fell down, but Nance was too tall. Here's Miller Cop. He touches the rock for the first time. 0 for 1 from the floor. And you see some substitutions ready for Chris Collins. I don't mind that transition three, but there it's another opportunity where he can try to drive, get to the basket, get some easy looks early. I'm glad he's out here. Yeah. It's another, you know, when you look, talk about Northwestern and why they've had success early on, it's because of the depth of their bench. They believe in everybody that's there. Also, Ryan Young in the game, number 15 for Northwestern, and that gets the offense going. A great kick topside to Miller Cup. And it all started why, Chris? Because you touch the post to Ryan Young, and then you kick it out for a three. That's what Northwestern needed. Now they're on the board. Now maybe the, it becomes a little bit easier for them. Scoring has not been an issue for Northwestern this season. They're averaging 87 points per game. They've got three three-point shooters shooting at a 50% clip or higher as Dwayne Washington Jr. dumps it off to Liddell and a tough look inside. And the great, you're, you're right, Northwestern, the pace they've played with is good. They push the ball. I think kind of, how do you handle the expectations? You've got two wins. What do you, how do you handle that third game against a 23rd ranked team in the country? Young on Young. And it just double check my notes there. That was Ryan Young over Kyle Young for Ohio State defensively, and it's a five-point game. Great move there 
by Young as far as taking his time. That's what Ryan has done. He played so much last year. And you can see, even though he's coming off the bench this year, what a kind of a, a, a start it's been for him. Great defense that time by CJ. From the floor to begin this one. There's Barron with it now. And the pass off to Kopp. Who's got his second three-pointer of the game? Boy, that is as pretty as it gets from the outside. And great action there by Northwestern. Just a simple down screen to get Kopp open for the three. Great set. Way to execute if you're Northwestern. Shooting 54% from long range coming into this game. Here's Dwayne Washington Jr. And Barron the rebound. And he looks good on that ankle. One of those things we were going to look early on, but he's really moving really well on that ankle, which is a good thing for Northwestern. Here's Ryan Young. Beautiful pass to the cutting Miller Cobb, who has gotten it going offensively now. And that's just a great vision. You, you, you know, Ohio State loses vision. Cobb cuts right to the front of the rim. If you cut to the front of the rim, rim good things usually happen. Cop averaging just a tick under 14 points per game. He's got eight already on this spurt for Northwestern to tie the game. Walker, rainbow shot, and not a good look. Rebound again, won by Barron inside, testing that ankle. Ryan Young matched up on Zed Key off the bench for Chris. Rewarded. Playing the glass that time, Brian. All aspects of his offensive game kicking in. He's been so active as, as a shooter. You want to continue to move. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense. That's exactly what he's doing. Bit of a wake-up call in that first media timeout for Northwestern. Now on a 9-0 run, and it's Ohio State's turn to respond. Dwayne Washington, Jr. Always a great candidate for points for off Ohio State, but that time off the mark. Ryan Greer running the controls right now for Northwestern, number two in white. And it stays with Tripp on the floor. Chris, and that's one of those things, you're just trying to feel it out to see if you're good to go. With what he did on that possession in those couple of minutes, he, we're going to see a lot more of him as he, the ankle looked good and what he was able to do off of that. Top is red hot right now. He's got 12 points. Wayne Washington Jr. gets himself volume shooter. There's not a shot you don't like. In shooters in your days at Wisconsin, right? <laughs> I might have been a volume shooter. <laughs> there wasn't a shot I didn't like. But again, you have to understand when and where. That's so crucial because sometimes you take bad shots and then it results in bad uh, results in transition. Six from the floor. Nance, he can hit that shot a little long that time. Rebound one inside by Anthony Gaines. Another chance for Ryan Greer. Off the flange again. Nance fighting for it inside with Seth Towns, and Ohio State eventually comes away with it. CJ Walker. And shots just one for six since. And throw by two now. Liddell. Short corner, nothing but net. Pretty mid-range game for the sophomore from Belleville, Illinois. And he knows how to read the post. There is no reason to try to attack there. He had more than enough space for the little mid-range jumper. Take a step in, knock it down. Here's Cop. A rare miss. Absolutely blocked before Ohio State this year, over 15 points per game. And they're doubling, but every time he touches it in the post, he's getting double teamed. He's done a good job so far of reading when to attack and when to pass out. Undersized post player as well for the Big Ten at 6'7, but certainly knows how to get his looks inside as Adige gave it up. Jimmy Sotos, the Bucknell transfer, running the floor for Ohio State. Gene Brown, the third, also on the floor. Ball, and right now we see the 3-2 zone all, out of Northwestern. So kick ball call, and Liddell with a tough look inside short. Nance has it for Northwestern. 
This is a Northwestern team that likes to push the ball more than they did last year when they were the least experienced team in the Big Ten. It leads to looks like that for Boo Booey with his first points of the game. Boo Booey did a great job of reading that transition. He attacked right away, didn't have anything. A little hesitation dribble, and then was able to get to the basket. Really good attack there by Boo Booey. If you're Ohio State here, you've got to continue to work the elbows and the high post against this zone. Nothing like a made three-pointer, though. That'll uh, answer a lot of questions. But that's what Seth Towns is going to give this Ohio State team. Him being back is a big part of the success, I think, that Ohio State can have moving forward because he does what? He's able to stretch the floor for this Ohio State team. Gaines, the captain, got it from long range. Sotos back out top to Walker. And Sotos calls his number. Eugene Brown, a physical rebound. Second chance eventually falls inside the rim. And what's one of the weaknesses against the zone? Is you give up rebounds. That's what Eugene Brown just did. You have to get bodies on bodies, Chris. Good stroke for the big man. So both teams have settled in here, Brian, it feels like. We've got a 20 up, 20 down game. Well, and this is kind of what we expected going into it. We knew it was going to be a battle. These two teams are both really good. Towns, the Harvard transfer, at his pocket pick, Ty Berry with the pause, the first-year player for Northwestern. Barry, air ball, but Nance is right there, weak side for the cleanup. Chris, that's just a good pass, that's all that yeah. is. Assist. <laughs> We've seen a couple possessions of the 3-2, but because Northwestern was not able to rebound out of them, they go back to man-to-man. Towns. And now Ohio State 2 for 6 from long range. Everybody knew that Towns was going to be a huge addition for this Ohio State team, but if he can step out and knock that down consistently, man, it gives a lot of space to this Ohio State team. Barry does not have the answer, and we said Ohio State 2 of 6 from long range. Well, Towns has got both of those makes from deep for Ohio State so far. Back inside to Liddell. And he turns it over. Boo Booey with the interception. Difficult angle on that runner. And after he missed the majority of the season last year with an injury. You know, and he's their best all-around athlete. He gives them a lot of different things. He gives them matchup problems. He's able to, on the defensive end, create a lot of havoc. So having him back is huge for this Northwestern team. For Ohio State, Musa Jallo on the floor, number two. When you try to do it too fast, it's usually a turtle. Great defense for Ohio State C.J. Walker because of the tip. Northwestern avoids the over and back. And Bowie in trouble, but Robbie Barron bails him out and had no trouble getting up off that ankle. Ohio State loses vision. Robbie Barron cuts right to the front of the rim and flushes it home. Great action there by Northwestern. A pick in his left and found out that he wasn't there. He was already dunking the basket. You gotta, you gotta keep vision because if you don't keep vision, bad things happen to you. Seeing ghosts all of a sudden. Northwestern back to this 3 2 zone. Now let's see if they can rebound out of this. Suing to a cutting Jallo. Great vision that time by Suing. Both teams have been doing a great job of taking their time when the ball has hit the post and then rim cutting. Musa Jallo 
has been really good off Ohio State's bench recently, and Ohio State's bench overall has been a strong suit for this team. Ryan Young on Kyle Young. Fights for his own miss. And tight ropes. A little awkward for him, but he's playing through it. And so far, what we've seen, I absolutely love it. When you have that ankle injury, one of the things you do is you kind of over overcompensate at times. Usel's been very impressive. Hey, forced to tie up right there. He's got a couple of rebounds in this game. Active on both ends of the floor. And a takeaway, this time by Ryan Greer. The threat up to Adige, who tried... Last year was not a great defensive effort. Second in the Big Ten. Adige with a couple of free throws to get on the board for the first time. And even though they're understized, Northwestern, they're mixing up their defense a lot. And on the offensive side, it kind of hurts it. And you're trying to figure out what you want to run because they are mixing up their defense so much. Boy, C.J. Walker did everything on that possession. He's got four points. Adige, step back over Jallo. In and out, Washington's got it. Walker slithers inside. Couldn't get the shot to fall over Kopp, and it's swept out of bounds there. you got to love that if you're Coach Holton. It's been a really fun first half after the butterflies settled down for both teams. Cold shooting start for Northwestern early, but they've gotten back on track. Young with a great move inside, but he couldn't finish. Good move, just missed the shot. It's that simple. And maybe if he had a little bit better of a balance there, he finishes it up, but I love the move. You just got to go finish it. Been a quiet first half for Dwayne Washington Jr., interestingly enough, averaging 15 points per game, but only a couple of free throws in this game. Jallo, that's a two, but it's a miss either way. And the rebound to Ryan Greer. Adige with a burst. Cop. Could not get the roll, but Ryan Young doing yeoman's work inside. And it is out of bounds. The first <laughs> half, that's that's really what it's been. He's taken over. He's been aggressive. And here, you, you see it right on point. Such a high release. Shot doesn't drop that time. And Ohio State with a chance to build a lead here inside of four minutes to go until the first half. Chris Bosters, the all Big Ten power forward. Brian Butch, former Wisconsin Badger. Ryan Young got his mitts in there. Liddell somehow hung on to it, and Towns with the shot fake, and he uses the glass. He has been huge off of the bench in this first half. Eight points, two threes, and a little shot fake, one dribble pull up there. And you said he's looked really aggressive. Well, and it started last game against Rutgers. He came in and gave Ohio State great minutes in that second half, and right now I see the carryover. You don't know if you're always going to get carryover. I'm seeing it. It's a huge addition for this Ohio State team. Greer around Towns, and he puts it home. So add Ryan Greer to the laundry list of Northwestern players with two points, Brian. It's a funny stat when you saw it, 12 and 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. <laughs> but it means you've got a little bounce if you're Northwestern, and it means you're getting something from your bench as well. Liddell with the step back. Skims the rim, and a good box out by Miller Cop. Barron, he is fouled. I last year there were so many games, five, and, and this year it's a Northwestern team that's one point away from being undefeated. They lost to Pitt, a game that they led late in that game, and, and again, to continue the theme of letting ones get away, Chris Collins thought his team shot selection wasn't great at the end of that game, but it's a Northwestern team that is very close to being undefeated as Liddell bangs his way inside, missed the second chance, two players belly flop after it, and it's geysered out to Miller Cop. Bounce pass, Bowie. Nifty stuff for Northwestern. Just scrappy by Northwestern, Chris. I mean, a ball, 50-50 ball that ends up going your way and then leads to two points. Great hustle by Northwestern. 
Western's got the lead back now. And they can add to it. Miller Cop. And too many turnovers by Ohio State. Way too many turnovers by Ohio State. That's eight of them already. They only average nine on the season per game. 16 points of turnovers for Northwestern. What's equally shocking is that Ohio State. That two-hand flush. So a rough patch for Ohio State their last few possessions. But still time to grab the momentum back going into the locker room at halftime. And Towns is the only guy who's got it going for Ohio State from deep right now. Right back the other way. Greer around Liddell. Couldn't finish. Had a hunch this was going to be a close game, Brian. In the first half, it's absolutely played out that way. Just a three-point line in favor of Ohio State going into this game. And we're deadlocked with 15 seconds left in the first half. Walker gets into the set. The elbow jumper, no good. Rebound, Jallo, the putback. Yes, and one. On the boards. Jallo misses the chance at a three-point play. By the way, that is Walker's second foul. And Walker, the heave. High off weekend with us. Great college basketball all afternoon long here on FS1. Boo Booey. Guarded by C.J. Walker of Ohio State with the right hand. He wins that battle. Reigning Big Ten Player of the Week, Boo Booey, with six points now. A career-high 30 against Michigan State in a 14-point win over the number four team in the country. Dwayne Washington Jr., he was awfully quiet in the first half, Brian. That's a great set there by Chris Holtman coming out of the halftime. It was a little double drag ball screen into a double stagger to get Washington wide open. Wayne Washington Jr. coming off a career high performance against Rutgers, 22 points. Suing blocked. Great defense by Anthony Gaines, but Ohio State hangs on to it. Kyle Young working on the guard on Deej. That's a mismatch, but not a bucket. Suing inside makes it happen. Nance, plus three inches on Liddell, his defender. Cop right back to Nance. Extra pass out to Bowie. It's Adige who tiptoes and cannot finish a wild shot. The whole put offensive possession there was off a little bit for Northwestern. They didn't have great pace, and then you saw the result. Suing cannot finish a good look inside. Nance. If you're Northwestern, you've got to get the ball moving around the perimeter. You've got to pass the ball, continue to get good movement. Game's short and not a good offensive set. No, spacing was off. You had two guys in one situation. You've got to get back to the way that you want to play. Push it. Great, put pressure on the defense and then get the ball moving a little bit more. Two bad possessions there by Northwestern. And then a foul off ball. And up against a smaller player fighting for a rebound, you got to watch the elbows. Uh, and especially now in college basketball nowadays, they're really focusing on that. Here's suing with the step back and an air ball, but another pass. Kyle Young with a three-point play opportunity, and he capitalizes to give him five points, shy of his season average of seven. If you're Northwestern here, you want to have some good offense, some good pace, continue to run your actions. This is much better already. Bowie over Young that time with the answer. And it all started with a pass ahead with the basketball to create the pace, and then it came back, and they were able to work the side of the basketball screen and then get a ball screen action. Much better for Northwestern.
Remember, Northwestern got off to a slow start in the first half as well. They missed their first six shots. And Young is fouled. Both teams trying to win their third straight game. Ohio State lost to Purdue in its Big Ten opener, but then beat UCLA in its final non-conference game of the season before upsetting a ranked Rutgers team. Washington off the front iron. Bowie, the kick, cop. Northwestern's leading scorer for us that Northwestern wants to play with, Chris. Doing open lane and a thunderous finish. <laughs> That's a really good drive and attack. It's just a simple jab step that was able to create an angle. When you get it, when you have an angle, you have the advantage. Suing has been a forgotten man offensively for Ohio State as of late. As Cop misses one of his easiest looks of the night. Eight points in his past two games combined, but Suing's got six right now. There he is trying to add to that total, but he cannot. Kyle Young, such a force. So love the offense there. Love the ball. Curl the Washington goes and gets Young, and they throw the lob. A.J. Liddell, action on end line out of bounds. So Kyle Young has gotten himself involved offensively here in the second half. He's up to eight points. And always good on the glass. You see him with seven rebounds as well. Robbie Barron on the floor for Northwestern. Adij. Once again, he tried to wind up for a dunk, it looked like, and Liddell just turned him down. Walker into the corner. Washington Jr., that's a Hail Mary, and it came awfully close to going in. Rebound still up for grabs until Barron finds Cobb. And that's the shot selection that Coach Holtman was talking about. Probably not the best shot there for Washington. Barron twisting around on that ankle, missed the shot. Northwestern just three for nine from the floor to open this second half. Washington Jr. Young from 14 feet in and out. And Ryan, you know what happens when you drive the lane on EJ Liddell? I, I like that because it was really good defense there. Miller Cobb. Lost the handle, but Northwestern hangs up. Bowie to Ryan Young, matched up on EJ Liddell. Spin move, left hand counted. He's so good with his patience and his feel in the post. Ryan Young did it all of last year, gets moved to the bench this year, and still does it. it like it, the feel that he has in the post. Is so good. Yeah, part of the, the depth that Northwestern has that they did not have more for Ohio State. Here's Zed Key. Draws the double team. Fade away. Not even close with the shot base. Zed Key now turns a, a, a turnaround jump. Elbow. Miller Cop. Everything. Is falling for Miller Cobb. It's like he's throwing it in the ocean. Washington around the key screen. That looked off from the moment he let it go, but key is inside. Well, they're one of the more undersized teams in the Big Ten. And again, they're undersized, but they've got wide shoulders, all their bigs do. And their wide shoulders and wide hips create space. And then they're able to carve out space and rebound the ball well. Bowie bumped by Hep's got to try to get, you know, ahead of Zed Key there. And... Boo Bowie. Give him 11. That's a tie game. Boo Bowie, one of those three Northwestern sharpshooters 
with 50 plus percent or greater from three point land this season. Key on the feed from Washington Jr. The handoff to Gaines. Greer can't save it. Basketball game brewing between Ohio State and Northwestern. A two-point lead for Ohio State. It's been a close game, really, since uh, about the five-minute mark or so into this game way back in the first half, Brian. Hey, you look at it, both teams. Dwayne Washington Jr. at the foul line, Ohio State's leading seven minutes left. That is going to be key in this second half. Do they continue to put pressure at the rim and try to get to the foul line, or do they settle for outside jump shots? When you're in the bonus this early, you've got to get back to the free throw line. Both teams have done what they do well in this game. Ohio State has rebounded the ball. Northwestern has protected the ball. Here's Ryan Young on Kyle Young. And he beats the smaller defender to the glass. And he does such a good job with the dribble drop. There was no drop there because he created the angle with the dribble early on. C.J. Walker working on the first-year player, Ty Berry. Jallo had a couple of big buckets off the bench for Ohio State in the first half, a trend that continues in the second. Berry, the pump. And a over foul, a jump shooter. First-star recruit. And Chris Collins went and got him out of the heart of Big 12 country. Uh, another loss there. They might be out of the top 25. Yeah, it, you know, it's amazing when you look at this Big 10 and how hard it is. You've got to compete. Indiana's trying to figure out what they're about and defensively what they are. And Illinois is trying to figure out offensively you know, how do we continue to play. And then they've got to defend a little bit better as well. Kyle Young, an infrequent three-point shooter, a little bit short. Greer curls, kicks out, gains. Walker's got the rebound. Liddell. The pump and drive, and the finish off glass. Ohio State's done a great job of them beating the bonus and still attacking. They haven't got fouls called the last two possessions, but they've gotten paint touches and they've scored in the paint. Lob pass from Barry into Ryan Young. He is smothered, and he passes it right to the wrong colored jersey. Walker from Washington over the outstretched slap of build that. Coach Holtman always, you know, says to us, we're a work in progress. Well, the work is getting better and better and better. You look at their leading scorer, Dwayne Washington Jr. on the floor right now. He's only got seven points today, and Ohio State still leads by five. That is a goal. Can you get some stops? Can you get some offensive action, play with some great pace? That's the question right now. Liddell. Gets inside and puts it home. Liddell missed two games for Ohio State due to an illness. He got his paw on that pass and forces the takeaway for Ohio State. He's been a factor on the offensive end as well with 11 points. And Washington Jr. just couldn't settle. Johnson, I was out a month. And I, I think that, to me, like to see what he's built through, whatever the illness might have been, I, it's tough to do that. And not only has he played through it, he's played at a high level. Nance. Rebound tipped from Jallo to Washington Jr. Did you feel, after that month, did you feel like you were yourself again? Or, you know, it takes some time to work back into playing shape, if nothing else, right? It took me until the start of the whole, almost that next year to feel like I was myself a little bit. It, it really wiped me out completely. To, so to see what E.J. Liddell is doing right now is so impressive. Jump hook inside for Kyle Young. That's his bread and butter move, and he's in double figures.
To the point of balance scoring, Young is just the second player in double figures for Ohio State today. Make that the third. Towns and Liddell being the others with 11 points. Our possession off with a bucket, but then getting you know three straight stops. Here we are in crunch time. You're down by seven. Uh, it, it, it's go time for the Cats as well. It is. This is crunch time. You need to try to get a score, then you need to try to string together stops. You try to get three. That's a lot of coaches talk about three stops, three stops. That'll help on the offensive end. Go get you some, Pete Nance. Pete Nance was harassed inside, too, and he still was able to punch it home. Great feed from the top of the key. Now defensively, you've got to lock in. That was Robbie Barron on the assist, by the way. Here's Kyle Young, who's had a good second half for Ohio State. Boo Boo, he got a hand in there, and Young couldn't finish. Liddell, how did he grab that? Finish? My goodness, Pete Nance. Tell you what, it's a players in the Big Ten, but he's so crafty in the post. He's able to get offensive rebounds, use those wide shoulders. I love the fight that he has. Nance playing the five this year for Northwestern, more of a power forward last season. And that move has really opened up Northwestern's offense as Adish, who had the hot hand of the second half against Indiana, has not gotten it going all game for the Wildcats today. Still just two points. And again, you, you talk about rebounding was one of our keys. Ohio State plus seven in the first half, plus eight in the second half. You're Northwestern right here. You need to get a stop. You've had them, Ohio State miss some shots, but you haven't been able to get the rebounds. you got to rebound the basketball. That one swirls out on Dwayne Washington, Jr. So a stop for Northwestern and T.J. Walker. Adige collided with Bowie on the wing. Top now. The teardrop isn't there. Ryan Young, great effort to save it, but unfortunately there was just too much scarlet and gray around the end line. And Northwestern on the offensive side, just a little bit slower than they were in the first half as far as the pace they're playing with. It's Liddell. Double teamed, and he traveled. Dribble, there was a dribble. Great eternal. Ohio State has really cut down its turnovers in the second half. Ryan Young after a thread the needle pass from Miller Cop. Just one turnover in the second half for Ohio State, making the halftime adjustments in the locker room. Three to shoot for Justice Suing. Let's it go. And he saves the shot clock violation by grazing the iron, but otherwise another good defensive stand for Northwestern, their third straight stop. Bowie with the blow by. Holy cow, how did that not drop? I have no idea, but if you were Northwestern, that's exactly what you needed. You needed three stops, you got it. You should have had two baskets there. I don't know how that doesn't drop, Chris. <laughs> the Grinch must have been sitting on the rim there. He just stole that bucket away from Boo Booey. Now this should be a deuce for Adige. Yes, his first field goal of the game. And if you're Ohio State, outside jump shots there where you just want to get pressure on the rim, I think this is a great time out here by Coach Holt in this game. Yeah. Well, we were tied 34-34 at the break. Ohio State has been empty on five offensive possessions now, five straight, as Northwestern's defense has tightened the screws. Liddell, tough shot, and he gets it to go. Wow. That's what that man does. That's what he does in crunch time. You've seen it now numerous games. Great move by E.J. Liddell. His versatility to be able to eat glass as Cop is. Miller Cop now with a 20. 
Robbie Barron, number 31 on the floor for Northwestern, playing with four fouls. His cop is now just three points away from tying his career high of 24. Liddell had the touch on the last trip for Ohio State. Kicks it out to Seth Towns, who is hot from distance in the first half. He's still got 11 points. Washington Jr. blocked by Adij. And Adij settles it down. Great defense by Northwestern again. Top runner. He's got 23. Good defense, good offense by Northwestern. Who doesn't love Big Ten basketball, Chris? I'm looking around. I don't, I don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody. I, unanimous, top to bottom. On a holiday weekend, too. Come on, now. Here's Liddell. The double team comes. Five to shoot. Towns from the wing, short. Adish has it, and Northwestern can take the lead. Chris Collins on the floor right now. Northwestern has to watch the six-man call. Here's Bowie. Adish lines it up and drills it. Second half is his time. It is. He did it against Indiana. <laughs> A fun 90 seconds in store. Ten to shoot for Kyle Young. He ties things up at 68. Kyle Young is just so solid. That's great patience by Ohio State. You hit the post. Good things happen when you hit the post. Kyle Young with a little jump hook. That's by my count the third shot he's hit with that little jump hook inside in this game. Boo Booey. Oh, what a big time shot for the sophomore. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, that is a big time shot. Northwestern on a 10-2 run night right now, but Jallo in and out. Young was fighting. And that's what they have. Makai right. And yes. Ohio State Ohio State's done a great job, Chris, of, of battling through this. Yeah. Northwestern had a run, and Ohio State has had some answers. All they need is a stop now. Northwestern flipped the script on Ohio State with about a five-possession run where they kept Ohio State off the scoreboard, bought Northwestern's offense enough time to click into gear. Bowie in deep trouble. Ryan Young is there, five to shoot, Miller Cobb, short, rebound, secured by Washington. Here we go. E.J. Liddell calling for a top. Washington Jr. in the lane, off window, Liddell with time. He lost it, and Bowie comes up with it. And Bowie short, Liddell, last chance. Short and North.